So Hoyo Lab has officially released some info about the new weapons coming in patch 4.1. This is obviously Nerve Elite's signature weapon, Tome of the Eternal Flow. It has high crit damage, low base attack. He's going to scale off of HP, so the low base attack is actually pretty nice. High crit damage seems like it'll be pretty good for him. Uh, this is very similar to like Yolan's weapon where it's high crit damage and low base attack because she also scales off HP. Aeon Wave. HP is increased by 16%. When HP increases or decreases, charge attack damage will be increased by 14% for 4 seconds, maxed for or 3 stacks. This effect can be triggered once every 0.3 seconds. When you have 3 stacks, the character's 3rd stack duration refreshes. 8 energy will be restored. The energy restoration can be triggered once every 12 seconds. That's pretty good. So it's HP increase, charge attack damage increase, and energy with a high crit damage so really good for him I don't know about other characters but for him very nice I like the fact that this also gives you energy which makes me think that he will be a very energy hungry character and makes me also believe that the prototype amber will just be a much better weapon on him than most any other four stars now let's take a look at these the dock hands assistant oh look we've got an HP sword it's called the Dock Hands Assistant. I think it should really be called, uh, we ran out of ideas, so we decided to take the attack on Titan Swords and make them a Genshin weapon. So, yeah, uh, ODM Gear Sword, HP% percent, base attack 510, Sea Shanty. When the wielder is heals or, uh, healed or heals others, they will gain a Stoic Symbol that lasts 30 seconds, and they can gain up to 3. When using their skill or burst, all symbols will be consumed. And the Rouse effect will be granted for each symbol consumed. They gain 40 EM. Two seconds after this occurs, two energy per symbol consumed will be restored for said character. We triggered once every 15 seconds. Symbols can be gained this way, even when not on the field. That's pretty neat. So, it gives you EM and regens your energy. It's actually pretty good. Nice for Nilu. Nice for uh, Layla. Finally, there's like an HP sword that's not a five-star weapon the bad news is it's a gotcha weapon so ugh, ugh. and just just imagine Nilu with this ODM gear sword it feels a little odd to think about her belly dancing and attacking Titans hmm all right now we've got a, a big chainsaw claymore portable power saw oh it's also an HP percent well it's probably gonna be better than the bell Oh, it has the same passive, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Maybe there's gonna be some better HP scaling Claymore characters in the future. I guess you could give this to Dory, but like... Ugh, Dory. Alright, Ballad of the Boundless Blue Catalyst. This should be the event weapon, right? Yeah, this one has high base attack and low energy recharge percent, which is not what Nerve Elite wants. He would rather it be 454 and like... 60% energy recharge, not the opposite. Azure Skies, within 6 seconds after using normal charge attack, hits an opponent. Normal attack damage will be increased and charge attack damage will be increased by 6% max 3 stacks. This effect can be triggered once every 0.3 seconds. So this should be doubled and increased charge attack damage by 36% at max, which is pretty significant. So this is a decent free to play option. I still think the prototype Amber will be a lot better. The energy that it gives you is really valuable. Even though this gives you energy recharge, I'd rather have the energy from the prototype Amber than just get a little bit more energy recharge percent. Hmm. Interesting. New weapons, huh? They seem alright. And they're like, this is the, the new event weapon. These are going to be on the weapon banner. I don't know if that's going to make the weapon banner worth it. Depends what other weapons they have. If they've got some fav weapons on there, maybe. This claymore seems kind of useless, to be honest. This sword seems good for very select characters. Probably won't make the weapon banner worth it. But, they will have Homa too, so maybe. I don't know. Maybe I end up wishing on that just because there is Homa. Who knows?